I'm going to show you a dead mouse right now, okay? That smells. Um, you want to learn how to catch more of these? I'm going to show you some tricks I have for better mouse catching. Ready? Here we go. Make, fix, grow, cook. Garden fork. So, there's a really popular YouTube video out there called Mouse Trap Hacks, and uh, it's one of mine. And I thought I've learned a lot since I made that video, so I wanted to share with you some more tricks and tips about how to catch mice. I also want to share with you a couple I've learned from other content creators on the web. So uh, let's go. All right. Believe it or not, this thing helps you catch mice. I'm going to show you how. Okay. These are used mouse traps that I'm rigging up again. And since there's been like mouse trap bodily fluids on them, I thought I'd actually wear some gloves because you never know. Um, if I knew how to put on these gloves, I'd be um, two steps ahead of the world, wouldn't I? All right. Here we go. The whole idea here is this mechanism here is where the bait goes and then you want to get the mouse to knock that so that the trap is released like that and then boom their head gets knocked and they are knocked dead. I'm all about uh, basically ending their lives quickly. Uh, I don't want to see them suffer. I don't use glue traps. I used to use um, bait and I don't do this anymore. Um, I just had issues with, this is a, a lot of times it's just uh, warfarin, which is a blood thinning drug that they eat and it kills them. But if that mouse eats it and starts to die and goes outside of the house or your garage and a hawk comes by or another predator, they're ingesting that same poison and I had some issues with that. So I've got rid of these. I use snap traps. And I use the electronic traps. I have a video about how to use these traps. They work really well. These are basically, for me, they're dog proof, which is why I like these. Uh, and it's electronic, eh, zaps them, they're gone. All right? Kind of the big breakthrough tool for me for setting mouse traps has actually been a glue gun. Because for our first hack, a new way to bait traps is with dog food. The smaller the dog food, the better. Um, and I'm dripping glue, so watch out. But we need a way to attach this to this, and we do that with a glue gun. So a small piece of dog food, a little bit of hot glue, put it on. And you don't want it to interfere with the trigger here, okay? This is old hot glue from the last time I used this trap. So I'm just gonna put a little more hot glue on there. Not the most graceful thing. Put that in there like that and let it dry. That may sound crazy, but I wanna show you this works, okay? Let's go to the garage. So we're out in the garage here, which is admittedly a bit of a mess. Um, I'm really kind of right-brained when it comes to this kind of thing, but a lot of mouse sign. I mean, I've got acorns here, uh, some mouse droppings here, and it, they just they just kind of overwhelm the place. It's not fun. But I want to show you how I've used these mouse trap hacks to be really effective. So you're going to see some dead mice now. So cover your eyes if you don't want to see that. Okay. My whole thing is to put two mouse traps right next to each other, and if you see here. One, two, and a dead mouse. Um, the bait is missing from that one. Maybe they managed to get it off, but on that one, we took care of it. And then over here, another two, and his tail end got caught by the one, but we did catch his head, and the food is still there. So, proof positive, the methods work. All right, I've got two more to show you, but I wanted to segue into the uh, electronic mousetrap world again. Um, oh, I just turned that one on. It makes a nice buzz for a few minutes. Um, you can also get rat trap size ones of these, and these will kill mice and rats. Um, I put this up in the garage thinking I might have a rat problem, and I didn't, thankfully. But lo and behold, in here, because I just took a piece of dog food and I dropped it in the end of this thing, let me show you what I got. I got a mouse, but um, it's close to dinner time, so I think we're going to get a little visit here. Hello? Is it dinner 
time? All right, let's go. We keep our dog food in these heavy duty metal, what are these called, boxes, uh, containers? But dog food, scoop it out. Lid goes back on, mice don't go in there. Ready? Let's go upstairs, come on, up, up, up. All right, you feel better? All right, the world's a better place now. Uh, the pups are fed, so they'll be calm for a while. So number two hack is one that I never thought of or had to read it online, almonds as bait. I've never used it, but I'm going to this weekend, but let me show you, I'm gonna connect this, all right? One person suggested toasting the almond. So what the heck, you know? So that's a little too toasted, so I'll just go with regular almond. That's burnt almond, regular almond. A little glue, almond, good to go. I know I said I had three hacks, I actually have four. So at the end of the video, I got a little bonus hack for you from a fellow YouTuber I learned. But next one, empty mousetrap. Tootsie Rolls. Take these, put them in your pocket to warm up. They're much more pliable now. See, I can mush it because it's been in my pocket. Or you could use a blow dryer, warm it up a little bit. I might have mushed this too much. Uh, it might be a little too warm. But this is why you wear gloves. So you want to take off some of this. And there's a little bit of a lip under there. Cram that under. Pull this over. Set your trap. We have some other mouse trap hacks. I talk about how to adjust all this, make it more sensitive. And you're ready to go. So I wanted to thank 65 Ford, who's a really neat YouTube channel I like to watch, for giving me this last idea. There should be some videos later on here floating uh, that I'll link to his video and also some more of my hacking and mouse proofing in Eric's world. But the last hack is string. A little bit of string looped around or through the little hole, mash it with some peanut butter and you're good to go. If you've got any ideas or suggestions about how to mouse proof, how to mouse hack, I'd love to hear from you. Comments below. It's always just, I kind of learn a lot and it's a big deal. So, cause I learn from you. We all learn from each other. That's the world of Eric. All right. Thank you to 65 Ford for this idea. Make it a great day. I'll see you.